Lambs in, 54 for United Auctions this morning. We'll see how they go. First person in at United Auctions, they'll, they'll do about 4,000 lambs today. So that's something I just always found a bit crazy about United Auctions. When I, this will be the first year I haven't crutched there. And you come in for crutching at 7 o'clock and there'll be no lambs to crutch. Whereas like Air Market for some reason, you know, it's flat out from like half six. There's loads of lambs. Whereas at United Auctions, despite it doing twice as many lambs as air, doesn't really get rocking until like half past eight. Also, that was strange. Like I've came from Kilmarnock and I'm the first farmer here. That's a bit just over an hour away. I'd love to know why that is. Good morning sheep fans, Cammy's the name, sheep's the game, it's another day, what are we up to? Just looking at all the carnage behind me there, I'm thinking better turn it this way so you don't see it all, with all sorts going on. Well, look at this, do you remember this? The scanning trailer, now we have a new one getting built at the moment by 4 Engineering, it is going to be ready in a week or so, but I have a scanning job on today. And it's only 50 sheep, pedigrees, early, charlies, I think, blue texels. Oh, I'm not even sure if this can make it to air to, to do the job, but let's find out. <laughs> okay, first problem we have, I've just tried to hitch it on and the brakes are seized on. So I'm gonna have to try and line it up, I can't even turn it. I can't even get it top. Oh, I can't, 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 Depending where you are in the country right enough, I suppose yeah. further south, it's you still send lorries down there? Ah, oh, yeah, it just uh, it just depends. Like if, if it's going out into Wales and uh, like if we had a sale on or something, then it's the type of thing that you could like put sheep to the sale and then maybe deliver. You know, go at a central place like to a farm and, and have people pick them up. But uh, and and how many how many tubs did you sell last year? I've not spoke to you since. Well, you've sold a lot of tubs since I last spoke to you. How many did you sell last year? Hey, I think uh, like genuine kind of real numbers sold is about eight hundred and forty five. Bad. And but will you tell us your average? Eh, it was just over a thousand. But, um, do, do the quick maths there. Uh, throw throw in a couple of hundred females sold. A, a, a thousand females sold. How many did you sell? Eh, aye, there would have been uh, there would been like seven or eight hundred commercial females, and then uh, there was probably like two hundred pedigree ones on top of that as well. And just maybe four or five thousand fat lambs. Aye, no, <laughs> not quite that. But uh, <laughs> aye, no, there was, uh, aye, there was a couple of fat lambs. It's a big right? operation. It's a big aye, operation. Yeah. So you've got to you've got to trust the the seller if you like, because I literally just text Greg and says I was I wasn't making it up to sale this year. Can you pick me out a couple of texels, a Logie and a Frontera? Told him what we we're going to do, we're putting them over Cheviots, whatever, and, and he's just, I just trust him just to pick out the ones I want, and you know, within the budget, you give him a budget and you make it work. Is that yeah. about right? Yeah, well, uh, yeah, no, basically, um, if somebody's putting trust in us, then we pick out something they're going to be going to be happy with, because at the end of the day, um, if you phone me up and say, Oi, the sheep's not right, then I'll have to either give you your money back or, or come and swap it or do something. Then uh, for, for me, for, for me, it's just as simple as, uh, and we've spoke about this before. Like if you get burnt once, you'll just not be back. You know, yeah. like, like if I get these tops and I think they're too dear for what I'm getting, and I don't like what I've got, I'll just I just won't phone you next uh, year. I know it, um, it's 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 relatively simple, really. Like it, uh, you know, if I was only selling tops for one year, you could have a right carry on if you wanted to. But um, 
if I'm intending uh, coming down here again next year, then uh, I don't have an awkward conversation about bad lambings or uh, sore feet. So. Aye, and I think this is maybe our third or fourth year in a row buying Texels from, and I'm, I'm trying to phase out all the other Texels I've picked up over the years. To, it's just like everything's just from Logie Durno, basically. That's the kind of way we're going because. And, and not blowing smoke, right? Like they just they last, you know. They go, they do their job, top a lot of sheep. They're not been. It's, it's a force feeding thing that's that kills the job for me. I, you know, I go to the markets, buy a sheep because it looks good on the day, and you bring it home, and it's just been force fed, and it just withers away to nothing. Yeah. So no, we'll get we'll go and get a proper look at the sheep. We'll let you go on. We know you've got plenty Aye. more drop. Is it Ashfield next? Is he getting uh, some today? Yeah, he's Aye. getting four, isn't he? All the big names, yeah, Aye. yeah. There's a lot day. Uh, it's, it's, it's a really good good load of sheep. This um, a lot of good stock come down into this part of the world. So yeah, so you're sure into it. We've got all the best stock. Yeah. Well, apart from you guys. Make, make, make up for the ground. You're an anomaly. <laughs> <laughs> Cheers, guys. Awesome, man. We have arrived at the scanning location. I was so busy on the phone, the boys have already got in, got the trailer off and got it set up. Ish. Ish. Set up ish. Have you not got the U bracket at the bottom of the gates? Where's the U bracket? Still lying in the, still lying in the trailer. Does this look like it's going to work, this trailer? You might have sweeped up. For oh, yes. We have a breeze block for the back jack. David, you might have uh, swept up before I arrived. This is, uh, this is a little new, this is the first time this has been seen on the channel, I believe. Uh, we have a new clothing line coming, all custom made. Fed by Farmers is the new branded. We'll explain a bit more about that very soon. It's the one thing we all have in common. The Sheep Game is now the proud sponsor of David Andrew at Mar Rugby Club. Shout out to that. Player of the match last day. Yep. I didn't even get a I've only sponsored him one week and he's played a match already. That's the kind of influence. What, because you get my of the match? Is that how it works? If you sponsor a guy who gets my of the match, you get a free lunch. What'd you get? A bacon roll? <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. This hasn't been opened for. Oh, there's. That's where that was. I was looking for that. Who'd have thought it was still there? This hasn't been opened since the last day I scanned. She's a beautiful thing, right? Pull this shoe bracket out, it'll be good to go. Today we are scanning sheep. Um, Robinson Farm at Maybell. Uh, big in the Charlies, big in the Blue Texels. Just Charlies really, I think. There's some of these six, six Blue Texels to start that shouldn't be in lamb. Um, but he went to a show. Oh, Jesus. He went to a show and the, the judge said they're on lamb, so let's find out. Right, if it's yellow, is it just running? Aye, just let them Hard to see, it is hard to see, but that's a body there. We do this every year, that's the head. The head's kind of floating about. Go into the mouth, and there's another body and head up here as well. It's hard to get it with one hand, but body and head. Body, head, so that's two, so we do two dots. Like that. Next one's in lamb as well. Big fat sheep are always hard to scan, that's the worst thing when you're learning to scan, you start with the hardest sheep. <sighs> job done here, quite a success, a few empties, like that happens with the AI job, on to our next bit of business, whatever that may be. The day continues and our next challenge is I bought a ladder, but I had no way to strap it on so I bought a bunch of bungees and I bought some paint to paint some more of the stuff at home. Um, but of course they put, they put the bungees in a thing like this and I just tim the whole lot out and now I'm going to have a car full of bungees for ages. Let's try and strap this on. Smooth operation here. What could possibly go wrong? 
I didn't show you the ladder, we got it set up, but we're, we're back at United Auctions. It's quarter past seven at night, and I'm back at United Auctions in Stirling, because we're gonna go and pick up some new sheep we've bought from Perth. But the crazy thing is, it's quarter past seven at night, let me just show you what's happening in here. The, start, the sale starts at 10 a.m. And look, they're, st they're still going. Still going hard in here, mental, mental. There we go, got a line. Let's get a look at it. It's a terrible photo, I know, but if we look at the key points down the bottom, we can see we sold 54 lambs, averaging 246 pence per kilo. That's live weight through the live ring, and we got £112 per head for these lambs. They're a bit lighter than we were previously selling them, but this time of year, it's good to get some more away over that £100 mark. We've more to go next week. Let's go and show you these new sheep we've bought. Shetland Cross Cheebits. Oh, <laughs> it's been one of those days, eh? Plenty happening. Tiniest little pothole here. Been walking around to unload these sheep. And I sprained my ankle a couple of weeks ago playing tig with my nephews. It's been swollen ever since, and I just, I just went over it there. And honestly, if anyone's had a sprained ankle, that pain of re-spraining it. As, uh, to be fair, it's not as bad as the first sprain because it's the worst sprain I've ever done in my life. It was, I thought it snapped my ankle, but that was pretty close. That was pretty close. That uh, my chest was actually hurting, it was so painful. Right, let's get these offloaded, see if you can see them. Um, we picked these up in Perth, it's now half past nine at night. Oh, I'm nowhere near the gate, so let's let's. Oh, don't trip, take your time, Cami. Cannot afford to trip again, my body physically couldn't take the pain. Oh, I, was, I was getting really fit as well, I was down to like 18 minutes from my, 10, my 5k time again for the first time in years and now I've just injuries. Okay here we go, you'll see these guys in better light tomorrow probably, but here they are, come on girls. These are just tick mops off a, a grouse shooting estate. £80 a head. Which is quite dear actually for... Well, it's not dear, they're, they're gimmers, it's, it's the price. They're good hardy Cheviot Cross Shetland gimmers. They'll do my job just fine. I have a rough bit of ground for them. And they'll do my job just fine. They'll be hard as nails, these sheep. It's a shocking night here. Okay sheep fans, I think that's enough for today. It's uh, half past nine at night. That's been a, a long enough day. Started at quarter past five this morning to get those sheep up to Stirling. On time, so... Aye! It's all part of the fun, I try to fit everything in. I hope you've enjoyed the video, and we're, we're trying to keep it plenty of just seeing what we do today to life. We're showing you the, the cost of things, or I'm talking through the cost of things as much as I can. As I say, we paid £80 a head for those, dear enough for what they are, it's a, it's a fair price both ways I think. I'm happy, and if the buyer's happy, um, then what more can you want from a transaction? Thanks for watching, if you if, remember please do check out the merch store, it pays all the bills. <laughs> oh, my ankle, right, enough rambling, see you for the next one. Love you guys. Oh my god. Look at that bad boy. I'm, I'm, I'm not even joking. I could barely... <laughs> it sounds so exact. That It's the worst sprain I've ever done in my life. And I've done a few. And I can, I can even feel my foot driving home. Look at that, Lizzie. Right, okay. Look at the size of it. Yeah, it was some weak body. Oh, I was honestly rolling about on the road. It was agony. I, I, honestly... I, Oh, I know, I need it, I need it, get it on. <laughs> oh, you caught me up, I wasn't ready. Well, you put it on the side, you know. Lizzie will look after me. Right. See you for the next one.